Let's go out to Alexis in Phoenix. Hey, Alexis, what's happening? Hi, can you hear me okay? Absolutely. What's up? All right, so I'm 15. My mom just told me this morning that my parents have had to dip into their savings the past two months. Okay. Um, she's My mom has stayed home with us and homeschooled us for 10 years, um, and she's going to have to get a part-time job. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just wondering like how my savings and how me saving for my future fits into that because I kind of feel guilty having extra money every month or having my own money putting into savings while they're struggling. Yeah. Man, they are lucky they are they are lucky to have you as their kid. You are the oldest fifteen year old I've ever <laughs> talked know. to. It's fantastic. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna tell you something really hard to internalize and you're gonna hear these words and your your guts aren't gonna believe me. Okay? Okay. It's not your job. You are doing an incredible job planning for your future. And your parents have made grown-up choices, like whatever job your dad is working at is um, a choice he's chosen to work. And that's his trade. That's what mm-hmm. he does. Um, and your mom made a choice. We want to stay at home. That was a collective values-based decision that they made. And then there was a mm-hmm. math problem they ran into. And like adults all over the country, brave adults are saying, okay, this is what we wanted. This isn't going to be, this isn't the way this is going to work out for a while. So we're going to have to alter our plan and do something else. And so I'm actually proud of your parents for doing that. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's just going to look different. Okay. Yeah. The greatest thing you can do for your parents is you take care of your business in the classroom. You take care of your business, like as a teammate around that house, right? Make sure you take Mm -hmm. care of your responsibilities with excellence, which I know you do and be sober minded be intentional about planning for the future, what college is going to look like, what it's going to cost, where you're going to go, what are you going to study, all of those things. That's Mm -hmm. the way you support your parents, not by taking your part-time job money and trying to keep the lights on. Now, there may come a moment when they ask you for that. It doesn't sound like that's what's happening. It sounds like your mom sat sat you down like a good mom. She actually sounds incredible. Sat you down and said, hey, um, we've had some hard realities that we're dealing with, and so I'm going to have to go to work, and so home's going to look a little different for a season. Is that what happened? Yeah. I I applaud her because a lot of parents would try to hide that. They'd be ashamed of that. They'd be scared of that. And your mom did the right thing. She sat down and told you a hard truth. And that also means that she trusts you. Does that make sense? That she thinks you're wise enough to hear Mm -hmm. that. That scary scary stuff. Okay? (laughs) But keep that in your mind and in your heart. It's not your job. Okay? Yeah. Do you believe me? Yes. No, you don't. But it's okay. It's it's okay if you don't. <laughs> so there are some tactical things you can do, Alexis. One is, you know, you're 15. You're starting to enter that age mm-hmm. where you can go get some part-time jobs. And one thing you can do is instead of going, hey, mom and dad, I want the new iPhone. It's $1,200. You can <laughs> go work for that and save for that, and you cover your own expenses of things that are kind of the luxuries in your life. You don't have to go pay the water bill, but you can cover, you know, going yeah. out to the movies with your friends. It sounds like you already do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I just I wasn't sure if that was okay for me to continue to have like Absolutely. What I, see as I think that's great. I mean, yes, flexing that muscle at 50. I wish John and I were that smart at 15. Yes. Goodness gracious. I didn't know what day it was yeah. when I was 15. And yes, you Listen, we often think that pain is some zero or that grief is some zero. And what that means is that George loses his job and I get a flat tire. And I am upset. I'm whining about my flat tire. And George goes, oh, yeah, you think that's bad. I lost my – listen, grief and sadness aren't some zero. You can go have joy while your parents are making life adjustments at their home because one doesn't – you not – you just sitting at home and not having fun and not hanging out with your friends and spending your spending money by going to the movies, you doing that doesn't help the, the bills get paid. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's just you joining into their misery, into something that you didn't cause. It's not your job, okay? Yeah. And so, yeah, go have fun with your friends. I love what George says. Um, if you know, hey, now's not the time to go ask for the iPhone, whatever, 13 or 17 or whatever number they're up to now. <laughs> That's cool. That's fine. Um, but do go have joy in your life, okay? 
And I'm going to do one okay. one better for you, Alexis. I'm going to gift you Financial Peace University. And one thing you can do no. is you're casually hanging out in the living room watching Financial Peace University, and you go, hey, Mom, Dad, if you want to join me, like I'm learning so much in this. If you guys want to join me, I think it'd be really cool for us to go through it together. And not as a place from a place of shame of like, hey, Mom, I need you to tell me you guys are broke. This might be good for you. <laughs> I called, the, from I called a, a couple of idiots on the radio. <laughs> I got you solved. Telling yeah. the, the person who wiped your butt, you know, seven years ago this. So uh, just – Go watch it yourself, and I think you modeling that might inspire them, motivate them, give them some hope. And when the time yeah. comes, you're going to get older, and they're going to be asking you for advice. That's right. And so it's a great place to be. So hang on the line. Jen is going to pick up. We're going to gift you Financial Peace University for one year as well as Every Dollar Premium. And you can get on a budget at 15, and they might see you doing that and go, what was that you did? That's pretty cool. Go ahead and send her Anthony O'Neill's um, debt-free degree too, Jenna. Um, oh. And she can start reading on now, thinking Kit about and what college is going to look look like in the future.